Good evening, friends, and welcome to our reflection on our journey of Lent, where we prepare to celebrate Easter and what it truly means. Just quickly to recap, our overall theme is to put Jesus back on the throne of our lives, and that we do by repenting of our sins and believing the gospel, which is the good news of Christ Jesus. We're using the word throne as an acronym. Last week we spoke about the letter T for transformation. We said that we need to be transformed by renewing our thoughts, by replacing the self-centered worldly thoughts with pure spiritual thoughts of God, thoughts that concern the kingdom of God. Tonight we focus on the letter R as we speak about recommitting. Now friends, our journey as children of God can be compared to a gardener maintaining a garden. It won't benefit him anything to take out the weeds only once. It needs to happen regularly. Otherwise the seedlings that he's trying to grow will eventually be overpowered by the weeds again. And friends, repentance is also an ongoing process. It won't help to think that I once repented, so I should be fine. I don't have to do it again. Continuous repentance is of utmost importance as it is a way of cleaning up our thoughts, our focus on life. The burden of sin will eventually weigh us down so much that we will cool off in our faith. We need to recommit ourselves to God as often as possible, at least daily. Sin cannot continue to reign us. We need to confess, ask for forgiveness and recommit ourselves to Christ on an ongoing basis. I leave you with Romans 6 verse 1 and 2. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Thank you, friends.